so windy today for whatever reason. Unfortunate it happened last night. I was just capturing footage for the drone. Seemed all good. Decided to go to a different location. Said, hey, it might look good here just with the sky color and all. Tried to hook up the controller to the phone. Like, hey, how come this cord isn't fitting? And upon further inspection, apparently, I guess the end of the USB came off. I guess it's just from the wear and tear of putting it in and out for that long. Like, what, over two years ever since I had the Mavic Pro? This is all the original stuff. So I was like, okay, fantastic. I actually have a backup, but then unfortunately what's wrong with this cord is it's not all right angles. So the top basically won't fit into the actual case that I use. So I'll probably have to get another one, but it'll be for temporary use, I guess. Man, I think this is truly the year of the gear failure. First the main camera dying, the drone going wonkers, and essentially now even like the cord. And if you think about it, that SD card stopped writing too. The one that basically came with the drone. Holy smokes, what is it with this year? Maybe the universe is trying to make this an unaffordable hobby or something, huh? Talk about gear and camera and stuff like that, how about this one? It says, Unique and Leica announced partnership. Unique and Leica camera, AG announced the beginning of a strong partnership today. And it says the first result of this partnership is using the Typhoon H3 with the ION L1 Pro camera. This drone is on the larger side. I would say this is probably somewhere along the lines of an Inspire. It says here, new standards in aerial photography, user-defined image mode and focus setting, lossless digital zoom, and superior image quality make the ION L1 Pro the camera of choice in its class for all aspects of aerial photography. Some specs of the camera, it says developed in cooperation with Leica Camera AG, co-engineered with Leica, it has a 1-inch CMOS sensor, 20 MP up to 4K, 60 FPS up to 100 megabit. And while it has an integrated 3-axis gimbal, like what a lot of drones had, this one says with unrestricted 360 view. So I guess you can basically turn it around everywhere, which not a lot of drones can actually do for the consumer ones. It says it also has 10-bit Y-Log video, and it says semi-automatic ISO with a wide dynamic range. Basically, that's something important too, because with dynamic range and stuff like that, because plenty of times even when I shoot with the regular Mavic Pro, man, like in the situations where it's sometimes too dark in the bottom and too bright on the sky, try to make it brighter in the bottom, then the sky looks overexposed. That's just the limitation of the camera. It says it's gonna fly up to about 25 minutes and a maximum height of 500 meters, they say. Overall, that sounds really good because you need more variety and stuff like this too, especially capturing better videos and stuff, gets every other company to step up their game. Still waiting to see what Skydio is supposed to release like a new drone as well. Haven't heard much about DJI in terms of the drones and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just hiding stuff away, waiting for say the competition to release something because overall it just feels like they have pretty much a stranglehold on the marketplace and so there's no real need to rush things out. But who knows, maybe stuff like this will encourage the industry to make even better stuff. Because with competition, usually that means aggressive pricings for some companies. This one here, it says it's what? 2,399 prices include that. So it's actually what? Maybe, is it 3,000 US? Is that about right? So definitely more along the sides of, I would say, things like an Inspire as opposed to a Mavic Pro or a Phantom. But I guess it's nice to see the variety out there. Imagine the better stuff I could capture if there was actually a better camera and stuff on the drone and all too. And I guess in terms of capturing things with camera, I just kind of randomly read this. It says, an angler in Nanaimo reeled in a surprise at Westwood Lake this week. A piranha! Yeah, so apparently this isn't native here, so somebody actually brought it into here in this province. It says, the red-bellied piranha is a tropical fish and cannot survive in our winter climate. It is common aquarium fish, and this is likely the release of an unwanted pet. And I was thinking, unwanted pet? People have this as a pet? Holy, look at that thing. I don't know, it looks so menacing with the red eye and all that. Don't piranhas eat humans too because of their sharp teeth? Or is that just some kind of myth? Or maybe it's only way back in the day.
Alright, see you guys later.